What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out another 10 infamous wrestling receipts. For those who don't know what wrestling receipts are, pretty much something happens in the match. Maybe someone was a little bit too stiff and they ended up maybe busting somebody open or, you know, that person may have accidentally gotten injured or, you know, just someone was a little bit too stiff in the ring. So it's like a wrestling code, a wrestling rite of passage sometimes you're gonna end up getting a receipt and that wrestler will be like all right cool it's all good you know i ain't gonna take it out on you now just know there's gonna be a receipt coming your way sometimes they don't even tell you most of the time they don't tell you about the receipt you know what i'm saying you just you know may have to expect one and when it comes that's just what it is it's part of the business man so we're gonna check out some of these wrestling receipts we've seen one you know i think he's he's did he's done a video before wrestling flashback so we're gonna check out some more appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel let's do this thing one, two. is, is this, this on? on the physical nature of wrestling means that the action can very much become all too real whether mm -hmm. the wrestler is laying it in working snug or throwing a stiff potato this mm -hmm. can happen sometimes by accident sometimes on purpose Oof. and sometimes accidentally on purpose we'll look at examples of each today as we highlight 10 more wrestling receipts first we have a recent example of a receipt that yep. came about following the men's war games match at survivor series 2022 where the bloodline took on drew mcintyre the Fun boring brutes and kevin owens during the match owens slapped roman reigns hard in the face the slaps connection yeah. Made a wicked sound and led to a subsequent slugfest. Roman had a bruise under his left eye afterward and suffered an eardrum injury, which may have been a result of Owen's slap. Regardless, mm -hmm. Reigns was said to have been legitimately upset with Kevin after the match. However, the tribal chief opted against handing out Owens' receipt during the War Games match. Reigns instead waited until their next encounter on the final SmackDown of 2022, where Roman teamed with Sami Zayn to face Owens and John Cena. During the bout, Reigns gave Owens a stiff lariat, sending KO straight to the mat. Cena's reaction on the apron Ooh. said it all. It was one hell of a shot by the head oh of the table, God. but it was Owens who had the last laugh when it came to the match, as it was he and Cena that got the victory. Although he did suffer a... Yeah, uh Oh, yeah, yeah, he was bleeding. Nasty bruise to the eye at the hands of Reigns. Yeah, bro, that, that's it's part of the business. It's part of the business, man. Next, we have a receipt that was two and a half years in the making. It all started with the NWO's parody of the Four Horsemen from WCW Monday Nitro in 1997. Arn Anderson and his wife were unhappy with Kevin Nash's impression of Double A. They took Nash, making fun of Arn's drinking habits, as a mean-spirited personal attack. The Horsemen were meant to get their revenge on the same night of the parody. However, plans changed. Then, once the Fall Brawl War Games pay-per-view came around, Damn. the Horsemen were decisively beaten by the NWO. And with Arn Anderson having retired from the ring earlier that year, it appeared as though the enforcer wasn't going to get any form of payback on Nash. That was until January 2000 when Anderson made a run-in during Nash's match against Bret Hart on Nitro. When Nash was outside the ring, Arn ran down and attacked Kev from behind with a lead pipe. Arn would say that the pipe shot was not a receipt for the parody and was instead merely an accidental potato. I don't have to address something from behind with a lead pipe. It's not the way I operate. So if, if he got potatoed, it was purely accidental. Damn. I apologized to him that night. But Kevin Ash disagrees. He hit me with a wrench in Florence. <sighs> You talk about a receipt? <laughs> Lightning bolt shot out of my ass. Either way, it was the first time. Damn! Bro, he popped him. He you can hear it. Oh, ooh, ooh. that made my back hurt. On was able to get physical with Nash after the parody, even if it occurred during a different storyline a few years Damn. later. A receipt on its own is bad enough, but a receipt at the hands of an unprotected steel chair shot mm -hmm. is a stuff We know about madness. this one. A receipt of this nature occurred during the Raw Elimination match at Survivor Series 2004. Maven was assaulted before the match by Snitsky, who landed some stiff shots. When he returned, he went straight for Snitsky. Maven hit a jumping elbow, which hit Snitsky square in the eye. Oh! This cut Snitsky open and left him with a nasty gash, with blood dripping down his face onto his chest. Since Snitsky was booked to get himself disqualified by hitting Maven with a chair, it was important for Maven to lay it in so that Snitsky had a suitable reason to get his revenge. And even though Maven struck Snitsky by accident, it worked out for the better given the nature of the angle. And Snitsky responded with a thunderous chair shot. Oh! 
Snitsky gave out more chair shots to Chris Jericho and Randy Orton. After this, he walked to the back with blood still pouring from his eye. This was Maven and Snitsky's only ever pay-per-view main event, but you have to give them credit as their receipt exchange helped add to the match. Yeah, All he definitely did. All I did give his face a tiny bit more care. And if he did give me a little bit of, of, of an extra receipt in that, I had it coming. A blast Damn. from a steel chair was the receipt in the last entry, but our next receipt is the result of a hard chair shot. Occurring on the first SmackDown of 2003, Paul Heyman and Big Show cut a promo, calling out Brock Lesnar, who then appeared on stage this only guy. to be attacked from behind by Matt Hardy wielding a chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The chair shot busted Brock <laughs> wide open with <laughs> We gotta send this clip to Dub. Hey, somebody clip this, send this to me so I can send this to Dub. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to him on Twitter. Clip this part. Send it to him. Back of his head completely covered in blood. Lesnar was quick to get his revenge though, and it came as a result of a vicious clothesline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hardy and Lesnar that. then wrestled later in the night. Lesnar refused medical attention and didn't even put on his resting gear for the match. Brock gave Matt a merciless beating oh and a highly God. entertaining squash. Hardy's follower Shannon Moore also received the pummeling, being hit with an epic F5. Hardy Damn. was also given an F5, which earned Brock the victory. Lesnar came across like a tough as nails, unstoppable monster in yeah. no small part thanks to Hardy and Shannon Jeez. Moore, who made the next big thing look like a million bucks. That when the Dudley Boys joined though. the WWF in 1999, <laughs> they were they immediately beat them paired up. with the accolades. The two teams had numerous very physical encounters. This was done as a way of testing the Dudleys to ensure that there was no repeat of what happened with the public enemy. The public Jeez. enemy had previously tried to change the finish in a match with the Acolytes right before they went out. Farouk and Bradshaw then subsequently destroyed them and sent them packing from the oh. WWF. The Dudleys made their presence known during their WWF debut by attacking the Acolytes with 2 by 4s Bubba in particular made sure to lay in, giving Bradshaw two legit smacks one Ooh. after the other. Oh! Bubba hit me so hard with that two by four. I lost feeling in my feet and my hand. Wow. The next week, Farouk Damn. and Bradshaw were ready to give it right back to Bubba Ray and Devon when they ran in during an interview segment. <laughs> 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 The Acolytes beat the Dudleys around with 50-gallon drums getting their receipt from the prior SmackDown. They were ready to kill us. They hit the set. They beat the crap out of us. Ron Simmons is picking up a 50-gallon drum, oh. a shoot 50-gallon drum, and just having his way with the both of us. These are all live rounds. After the segment oh was over, both teams God. shook hands and thanked each other. The Dudley boys had proved that Bro. they could hang and do <laughs> You getting beat with a 50, 50 gallon drum, bro? That's crazy, bro. Business whilst earning the respect of the locker room who were watching on. Celebrities in wrestling can be That's hit or miss. Crazy. As seen from the Jackass Crew's appearances Recipes in WWE. Umaga. In 2006, Steve-O enraged Umaga due to not staying down after a beating, instead laughing after being attacked, leading to Umaga legitimately knocking Steve-O unconscious. Oh. Johnny Knoxville will have been hoping he fared better than his fellow cast member during his WWE run, which began when Knoxville entered the Royal Rumble match in 2022. However, things started with a rough exchange initiated by Knoxville. Knoxville. AJ Styles gave Knoxville one free shot to which Johnny responded with a clubbing forearm. Oh sure how nice that was. Unlike with Steve-O and Umaga, this was all in good fun, but Knoxville was still owed a receipt. He yep. told Styles to bring it, and the phenomenal one obliged, firing back with a snug clothesline. Knoxville said bring it. It's oh, my, oh my goodness. Knoxville then ate a frog splash from Montez Ford and was eventually eliminated by rival Sami Zayn. Well, As we've we seen from our previous videos, oh Harry Satin can certainly dish out a receipt, as was the case when he punished enhancement talent Mike Bell. But some seven months later, Saturn was on hand to deliver more receipts this time in another physical match versus a local competitor Brian oh, Gamble man. on an episode of WWF Metal in December 2001. The story goes Gamble claimed they were resting in his hometown and had friends and family in the audience and for that reason he wanted to get more offense in than a typical jobber would. The match starts off with Gamble performing a hip mm -hmm. toss to which Saturn then responds by asking Gamble are you trying to shoot on me before giving Gamble oh. a strong slap to the face. Gamble replies with a shove only to get annihilated with a massive spear but oh. there was still more to come as Saturn also delivered a hard kick to the back. Gamble managed to hit a spinning elbow where he then tried to go for a cover, but Saturn wasn't having any of it. Perry brought Gamble down one more time, allowing Saturn to lock in a submission hold which got the win. It's not known for sure if Gamble truly did go into business for himself, but the Damn. match plays out quite differently to a typical enhancement squash, yeah. with the wrestlers being on different
different pages at various points in the match. If you're looking for a wrestler getting angry with his opponent and subsequently oh. assaulting them for real in the ring, yeah. then look no further than New Jack. Yeah, New Jack New was Jack, up to his old yeah. ways during a match for a Florida independent promotion yep. in October 2004. New Jack's opponent was a green wrestler named Hunter Red. The two immediately got off on the wrong foot when mm -hmm. Red refused to talk over the match with Jack backstage. Then once the bout began, Hunter Red began laying into the original gangster, nailing him with two stiff potatoes before then trying to manhandle New Jack. Yeah, he, the New Jack, he is known for getting his receipts. And uh, his receipts may end in you either going to the hospital or maybe even dying, like dead ass. Jack responded by pulling out a blade from his pocket yep. and driving it directly into Hunter Red's body nine times. I grabbed a rope and I pulled a knife out and started stabbing him. I stuck him like nine times. What the? Wait, oh my! He's stabbing this mother. Run! The few fans in the audience reacted in complete horror. Mm -hmm. New Jack had to be pulled away from his opponent by the promoter. New Jack was charged with aggravated battery yep. and faced up to 15 years in prison. However, he was given a lifeline by the victim of his assault, Hunter Red. Red agreed to drop the charges provided he and New Jack turned the incident into an angle and toured around the Florida independent circuit, mm. wrestling matches against one another. New Jack agreed provided Hunter Red dropped the charges first. Once Red did so, Jack left Florida and never spoke to Hunter Red again. <laughs> and dropped the charges. I went home. Rikishi has always That's been known crazy, as a fun-loving, jovial character that never failed to entertain the people. So it was a surprise to fans when he lost his cool whilst wrestling a tag match in the WWF's former developmental territory, HWA, in December 2001. Rikishi wrestled against a team featuring Haku and Russ McCullough. A planned spot was to see Russ hold Rikishi in place for a kick from Haku, only for Rikishi to move, leading to McCullough getting accidentally hit instead. The problem was Rikishi was supposed to move to the left, but ended oh, up moving no. right instead. Dead, meaning Haku's kick hit Rikishi hard in the face. Ooh. This infuriated Big Kish, who went to the outside, grabbed a fan's chair, and went straight for McCullough. Rikishi rained down chair oh shot after chair God. shot, completely bending the chair in oh. half and forcing McCullough to retreat to the back. Rikishi was none too pleased with being potatoed, and there was a further altercation once the wrestlers got to the backstage area. It was there that Rikishi and other Samoan wrestlers threatened to beat up Russ. McCullough had already been told that his contract wasn't going to be renewed, and he was allowed out of his deal early straight after the match. Damn. So Last entry, we go to Japan in 1990, where a Sheesh. huge interpromotional match for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship saw All Japan's Stan Hansen challenge New Japan's Big Van Vader in one of wrestling's stiffest ever matches. Even before the match began, Vader suffered a broken nose whilst on the outside after Hansen swung his cowbell at him. He was telling me, he says, you know, you hit the thing, the thing came back broke my nose right off the bat. Once things got underway, the physicality oh. continued with both men hitting each other for real, with Vader in particular landing some very stiff shots. Damn. Hansen responded with a melee in the corner, where he ended Damn. up sticking his thumb into Vader's eye, causing it to pop out, resulting in an insane visual. Vader oh. showed incredible toughness, pushing his eye back into his socket, oh. and holding it in place with his eyelid. The match continued, as did the punishment. The two men beat the holy hell out of each other, with the action eventually spilling to the outside. The match ended in a double count out after both men continued brawling in the crowd. All the bones in, in my face had to be fused. So I mean my whole all my cheekbone was broken, all this was broken. My whole nose nose was crushed. Extensive surgery was required on Vader's face following the match. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one check Holy That's taking a receipt to a whole new my man punched him in the poking him in the eye and his eye almost popped out what the I, bruh that was bruh he was they were both built different they got they they got more than that dog in them they got the bull in them i, I don't know what animal the lion in them whatever animal you want to put they got it god what bro my man's had to push his eye back in. Ah, uh, he already had a broken nose before the match start. Comment down below. Let me know what, which one of these receipts shocked you the most. Cause uh, <laughs> I already know which one shocked me the most. That that last one I can't even imagine. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road two. 150k and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.